Hey, hey, it's Ivan here. Welcome to another template release where I'm going to share with you how to get your own link tree created using system.io. Now, I'm going to actually show you the template that I'm sharing. Now, this is what it actually looks like. So this is a link tree that I've created for myself, and I'm sharing this uh, with my members in runtemplate.com. And you can see here is the instruction information. So if you're in the membership, you'll be having access to this particular link. You'll see what it looks like. And notice what's unique about this also is there is an exit pop-up, which looks like this as well, which is one of the big benefits of having a link tree in system as opposed to using some other random software. The other benefit is the ability to actually have the opt-in right on the page automatically integrated with your system IO account. So that's the other benefit, okay? Uh, I explain all of that and all the templates are all included in here, uh, which is for paying members. Now, in case you uh, want to know a little bit about how to customize this once you import it into your account, there's a few things you need to know. First of all, you'll notice this code. This code, don't touch it. Basically, what it does is you see how when you hover over the button, it kind of hovers over or it goes up and, you know, like that, like that animation. That is created because of this particular code. So don't touch that code. Leave it exactly as it is. So that's number one. Number two. Change the image, obviously, make your own image. Now notice that this image is actually linked to my website, arambukai.com, and it opens to a new window. So also make sure that that also changes. Now you can customize this text and the colors. If you just hover over like this, you'll be able to change the color. And also you can delete it if you don't want this there at all, but you can customize this part. Uh, the headline, same thing as usual. Now these buttons, uh, what I would recommend that you do is you customize like, because this might be different branding and so on and so forth. So choose how you want yours to look like. So you'll notice here that I've got a color in here. So you can change the color right here. You can change the border if you don't want a border. And you can also change the size of the border. So notice if I make a 10, it'll be really bold. If you make a two, it'll be like this. And of course, change the color. So if you wanted red, for example, I'll just uh, save this. Let's say you want this red, great, change that. Um, and then once you've done that, I recommend you simply hover over this button and duplicate it, basically. Because when you duplicate it, it's going to basically be the identical buttons the way you want it. So you don't have to customize all three buttons, just customize one, and then you would go here and change the links. Now, I have everything opening as a new tab. You can choose to make it in the same tab. Personally, I like the new tab because I don't want it to... Um, I want them to make me, if they're exploring, I want them to open more tabs in their computer, basically. Even though sometimes on the phone it can be a little bit annoying, that's just my personal preference. Okay, here, this is an image. You can replace this image if you want to have a sort of a PDF or a free download. Again, this is for your lead magnet. It doesn't have to be a free PDF. You can actually change that to make it a webinar or a free training or a consult or something along these lines. So again, you can customize that by hovering over this. You'll notice that this is uh, a row. And if you hover to the bottom, you can again customize if you want it to be dashed or solid or none at all. It, it's totally customizable. Okay, so I'll bring it back to how it was. Okay, there you go. Um, again, this one, the button. Um, so a couple of things. So first of all, this one actually goes to a totally different funnel. So because this particular uh, email funnel or this particular lead magnet funnel goes to this link, so obviously you want to replace that and put it to whatever the thank you page you wanted to go to. This is more custom to me specifically because I want to obviously use this link tree as a lead generation thing on my Instagram. So I'm going to basically um, put some sort of a funnel here where they can get their own link tree because if they land on my link tree, they're like, I really like this link tree, then I'm going to give them that as potentially a free download or a pay download, something that I'll decide as, you know, I'll decide what I want to do with it once I'm ready to publish it. The last thing is these buttons are um, all Canva images and they're obviously linked to my account. Now, notice that my YouTube, for example, if you look at the button, you see that it says sub.confirmation. Make sure that yours has the same because that will make it so it will automatically get people to say, yes, I want to subscribe. So anyway, this is a little hack. I will leave, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be an Instagram post that I did where I showed how to do this. So I will leave this in the YouTube video so you can check it out, okay? So that's a good little hack that you need to be aware of. Now, I am providing in the template membership, for example, if you scroll all the way down, you see there's Canva templates. So I'm providing Canva templates to customize all of these icons as well. So you don't have to go find them on your own, basically. 
Okay, so that's about it. Um, this is what I wanted to show you about how to customize this. If you want to obviously get this particular uh, template, you can go to runtemplates.com. It's going to be available. And depending if I want to offer this as a free PDF or as a, or as a free uh, download or paid, I'm not totally sure. But either way, it's definitely available in the templates and coaching membership. You can go to runtemplates.com. And if you're already in the membership, awesome. Make use of this template and post it onto your Instagram. This is where you would actually link the link tree on your Instagram. So instead of me, when I have landing page challenge, you will actually put the link tree here once I have it ready as an example. And you can see that I do have it linked here, but here I have more options as well. So it's just a great way to um, have additional links. Now, there is also, you might be wondering, like, obviously with Instagram, they've recently done some changes where you can have multiple links. And that's all good. But what I like about having this, for example, is the fact that there's an exit pop-up and um, also the ability to actually have a direct um, opt-in right here. So that's my personal preference. That's why I like having a link tree this way. The other thing I'll mention is you want to also customize your funnel domain. So you can click here and choose which domain name it's going to go to. Right now, I just have it as my subdomain for system IO, but obviously make sure it is um, done the way you want it. Okay. So that's about it. Hope you got value from this little training on how to set up a link tree in system IO. Again, if you want to download this or get it yourself, there's going to be a link somewhere uh, below this video, either directly to get it yourself or it's going to be an option to just join the membership where you'll get access to this link tree or you could just build on your own totally fine um, obviously having a template will just save you a little bit of time so that's about it and if you're in the membership enjoy and i'm going to give you feedback that's about it i'll speak to you soon